This is Jason Hall from Snow Dog Studio, and you're watching Spotlight TV. Spotlight TV, where it films your food. Choose your destiny. Hey everyone, this is Paul Gorman. You're watching Spotlight TV. Where it's, where Spotlight, baby. Spotlight. Where it films your food. 2008 event. The 24-hour marathon. I'm here with Jason Hall. Some people call him J Dog. Some people call him J Hole. And then there's a bunch of other people. Call me asshole. <laughs> they do say that. There's quite a few. So um, tell me what Films for Food is. You and I sort of started this together last year. Um, last year, Paul and I, actually, Paul came up with the idea and kind of came to me, and uh, we, we've been talking about it. And uh, what we decided was uh, we, we wanted to bring. Last year was the best of the local indie, um, which I think we did. And we wanted to present local indie to the Erie community, and the point was to raise food for Second Harvest Food Bank, which benefits the homeless people, um, people who need food. And looking at me, obviously, I don't need food, so um, so I'm I'm not eating tonight. That's that's my goal. I'm on a, I'm on a 12-hour stretch here without anything. Liquid diet. Liquid diet, definitely liquid diet. But the point was that um, we wanted to. We wanted to try and, first of all, to benefit, to do some kind of charity, but we also wanted to um, sort of showcase, at that point in time last year, we wanted to showcase some of the indie film that was in Erie. Um, my Eerie, my movies, uh, Paul's movies, Len's movies, Ryan's movies. John um, Lyons had a John Lyons. Um, we also had uh, Wolf of the Door. We had Wolf of the Door last year, too. Yeah, we had uh, Matt Dedish. Matt, Matt Dedish, film. yeah. So, um, well, we tried to keep it more local last year. Um, this year, Paul and I sort of talked, and uh, we made the decision that uh, we wanted to branch out, and we wanted to open it up open it up to the U.S. We went to uh, the Indie Gathering in Cleveland. We saw a lot of great films there, and uh, got in touch with a lot of filmmakers there, and and, uh, we picked the, up a couple of them. The point was that uh, we saw a couple films we were in the gathering that we really were astounded with. Um, Escape from Darwin being one of them. And uh, we really wanted to open it up to more of the world. And next year, Films for Food is going to be probably even bigger. And you're going to see some things from Films for Food that are going to branch out. We're not going to talk about now, um, yeah. but uh, we would talk about it today. Um, my thing being animal rights, being a humane society, um, it's always been my, my heart, my love. Um, and you'll see Films for Food have a little maybe side project that, you know, Snow Dog might run here that's going to benefit, you know, animal rights, um, benefit, uh, you know, animal, animals. Animals. <laughs> All together, dogs, puppies, cats, dogs. Well, dogs. In, a, in addition to <laughs> raising food, um, one of the uh, one of the other purposes that we set out to do with Films for Food was to enable people to see the movies who might not otherwise have been able to do that. There's a lot of people right here in Erie that are in fact homeless, don't have enough food to eat, and a lot of the the movies that show locally, especially on the indie level, they're five six dollars for a ticket. We just did House of Bedlam; it was six bucks. I think Chase was what eight when you did it last year. I don't remember what yeah, the ticket price eight. was for Chase, oh, but there's a lot of people in the community that, that just can't afford to bring a family to the movies. So they would never get to see Chasing Darkness, they'd never get to see House of Bedlam, they'd never get to see Stockholm Syndrome. So Films for Food gives them that opportunity. Um, we don't turn anyone away at the door. If you don't have a can of food, come on in anyway. That's sort of the spirit of the thing. Yeah. We're, we're filmmakers and film fans that put up the movies, and come on down and bring some food. That's a simple of an idea is films for food can get and that's one of the things I mean, we tried to get a 62 cent can of spinach at freaking all these and bring it and you have 24 hours of freaking movies yeah. that you can go to i mean right yeah we got some good movies too we had good movies last year this mo this year even better michael moore contributed um billy kent contributed owen ohio danny devito you have danny devito and parker posey that's a great movie and the stuff we picked up at the Indie Gathering, Darwin, Darwin's and others, a great Kim film. and Drake's movie is awesome. Yeah. Um, Ryan Cavallini's got two premieres. Yeah. Stockholm Syndrome, I'll, I swear to God, I'm friends with Ryan, but that's one of the scariest indie films I've ever seen. It's a legitimately scary horror movie, which is weird for Ryan because he always does comedies, joke movies like Dead Body Man. Um, 
they're designed to be funny. Stockholm's going to scare the shit out of you when you see it. So um, it's actually coming out in February, so it's very cool that Ryan wanted to bring it out this early for Films for Food, but it's certainly going to going to definitely donate, get some donations up. Sure. For sure. This is Kristen the Stab, motherfuckers.